Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about types of triangle. Before moving forward, let's ask ourselves these few questions. What question usually you ask when it comes to triangle? Why do we need to learn what type of triangle and how it will help us if we know what type of triangle it is? Answering the first question, usually when you come to triangle, it will ask for length, angle, perimeter, and area. Answering the second and the third question, knowing what type of triangles, we will know what is the properties of a triangle in terms of length and angle. It also will help us to decide which formula to use for particular triangle. Let's move on to the properties of triangles. All the triangles have these properties. As you can see, for any triangles, they will have three lines connected together. They also have three internal angles. The sum of three internal angles will be equal to 180. So please remember this here. There are six types of triangle, which are equilateral triangle, right angle triangle, Acute triangle, scalene, isosceles, and the final one is obtuse triangle. We can categorize this six triangle into two categories, which is based on the length and angle. Let's start discuss the triangle. They are based on length. The first triangle that we are going to discuss is equilateral triangle. As the name suggests, equilateral means same. Therefore, equilateral triangle, all the sides having the same length. Not only that, all the corners also having the same angle, which is 60 degree. Why? Because we know that sum of all the internal angle inside a triangle is 180 degree. Since there are three corners, so we divide by three, therefore we have 60 degrees. This is the main reason. On finding the area, we use this formula where half multiply by the width and the height of the triangle. Let's move on to the next triangle, which is the isosceles triangle. For isosceles triangle, two sides have the same length. For example, B and B here. Both sides have the same length. Beside this, the bottom corners will also have the same angle. Finally, on the area, they share the same formula as the previous one. Let's move on to the next, which is the scaling triangle. Scaling triangle have three different length. Besides that, it also have three different angles. Finally, on the area wise, it's also the same as the previous one, which is half multiplied by base and the height. Let's try some Example question on triangle. I have listed down the steps on what to look for when we are dealing with triangles. First of all, we need to look at the length followed by the angle and finally decide what type of triangle it is. Let's start. Looking at this triangle, we notice that the sides of this triangle have the same length. This show that it is an isosceles triangle. We know that isosceles triangle, at the bottom of the triangle, they will have the same angle. With the information that we know that the sum of internal angle of a triangle is 180, right? So 180 
will be equal to adding this angle which you have 2x plus 40 then we move 40 to a side so 180 minus 40 equal to 2x so 180 minus 40 we have 140 degree and then dividing it by 2 we will know that x is 70 degree as simple as that on the next question let's we look at the length you can notice it this we cannot confirm because the question want us to find the length now let's move on to the second one which we look at the angle we can notice that all the corners have the same angle and a 60 degree with this information we know that this is an equilateral triangle we know that equilateral triangle have the same length on all the sides therefore x the length must be equal to 5 as simple as that let's move on to the next example what makes a triangle question difficult is when they integrate it with different shape for example like this question you can see that there is a triangle inside a circle looking at all the side of this triangle we notice that both of these side is actually the radius of the circle which means both of them have the same length then the next step we look inside the angle is not 60 degree so we are confident to say that this triangle is isosceles triangle we know that isosceles triangle at the bottom will have the same angle which is 70 degree we know that sum of all internal angle is equal to 180 therefore 70 degree plus 70 degree and the x will have 180 degree 70 plus 70 will have 140 degree plus x and 180 degree moving 140 to the opposite side we have x equal to 180 minus 140 degree and then we will have 40 degree therefore we know that the angle for x is 40 degree let's move on to the next question looking at all the side of this triangle we can see that they all of them have the different length so we know very well that this is a scalene triangle to find the angle x we use the same property again where the sum of all internal angle is equal to 180 therefore 59 plus 87 plus x will be equal to 180 degree 59 plus 87 will have 146 degree plus x equal to 180 moving 146 to the opposite side we will have 180 degree minus 146 so 180 minus 146 we have 34 degree therefore we know that the angle for this x is 34 degree we have finished discuss all the triangle they are categorized based on the criteria length now let's move on to the second one where all the triangle are categorized based on the criteria angle the first triangle that we are going to discuss is the right angle triangle when we mention right angle what does it mean it means that triangle with 
90 degree. So this is a symbol for the 90 degree. You also notice that their formula like Pythagoras theorem, sin, cos, and tans is here. These are the set of formula they are used for right angle triangle. Remember, it can be only used for right angle triangle. Please click on the link below for the video that explains on how to use Pythagoras theorem and sin cos tan to solve the length and the angle of right angle triangle. Now let's move to the final uh, two triangle, which are the acute and the obtuse triangle. Acute triangle, all the internal angles has less than 90 degree. You can recognize it easily, okay, just looking at the acute, which is you know smaller. For obtuse, one of the internal angle is more than 90 degree. For example, you can see that the angle for this C is larger than 90 degree. There's also a set of formula for calculating and solving the length and angle for acute and obtuse triangle. This is all the formula. As you can see, the sine rule, cosine rule for area is no longer just the base time height. Okay, we have, we have two formula to solve it. Again, please click on the link below for a video that explains how to solve acute and obtuse triangle. I hope this video have helped you guys. If you like this video and it helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much.